Um, I work at the University of Salford and I'm a lecturer in Children and Young People's Nursing there. Um, I teach a whole range of different subjects really. Um, I teach uh, students of nursing who aren't nurses already. Uh, but I also teach a number of qualified nurses and midwives around neonatal care, which is my area of expertise really, and end of life care as well. I heard about the Florence Nightingale Foundation from colleagues in the university uh, where I work. One of my colleagues had the previous year had a, a travel scholarship from the foundation and I was doing a, a Master of Philosophy degree and I was looking for, for funding for one of my years of study um, and so that was why I applied. I had a look then on the website and saw that actually applications were due in soon so it was really good timing for me. Um, the scholarship application process was actually, I wouldn't say it was easy, but um, the, the form to fill in was, was easy to follow and understand there were good instructions. And actually I had a lot of the information for the application ready in a research proposal that had already written. Um, so the actual application was, I found that process absolutely fine. And the interview was quite difficult, but it, but it has to be, you know, there's a lot of people applying and they're looking to see that you understand uh, your area of research that you're looking to do and that you understand what methodology you're going to use to undertake it. So it was quite a difficult interview, but actually it helped, it helped me uh, be read, being ready for the interview. And th now that I've upgraded to um, a PhD, um, I've had to have an assessment that was more difficult, but quite a similar kind of process where I'm asked a lot of questions about my methodology and the research I'm undertaking. So the process was helpful to me in my course of study. Studying with the Florence Nightingale Foundation support um, has, they've been very supportive along the way. So they um, email you and check up how you're getting along. They ask for both interim and final reports to ensure that you're meeting what they've asked for. But they also offer support around uh, developing your work for publication. Uh, they run conferences, which you know they do invite their scholars to. Um, and there's the ability to network with other scholars. And what I've realised since I've been part of, of um, having this scholarship is that there's been so many different diverse scholars that are, are doing research uh, with involvement from the foundation. So it's been really interesting to see what some of those other pieces of research that are going on are. Even if they're not in my field, it's still really interesting for me to keep abreast of that. Um, my research is looking at parents' experiences and their own perceptions of their support needs after the death of a baby. And the reason I chose to look at that area is um, I spent a significant time of my uh, career in clinical practice working as a bereavement support nurse looking after families after their baby had died in a neonatal intensive care unit, so it's something I feel very strongly about. And uh, nationally, not all neonatal units are, have resources to provide support to families after the death of a baby. So I wanted to look at actually what do parents experience and what do they say their own support needs are. My research is a qualitative method of research and I'm using in-depth interviewing uh, where, where I will interview uh, mums and dads who have been bereaved um, either together as a couple or separately depending how, how they want to be interviewed. I'm hoping that the findings from my research will help us fill the gap of knowledge around what parents say their support needs are and so that we can help develop services both locally but also importantly nationally as well so that we know what parents say their needs are and we can tailor our services according to what the research findings tell us. The scholarship has helped me in, in the role that I have. Um, when I started, when I first received the scholarship, I was undertaking an MPhil and I always intended to try to upgrade that to a PhD and I was successful in doing that last year and the foundation were very supportive. They knew I was doing that and you know were asking me where I was up to and were encouraging with that. But I think from the perception of the university that are supporting my PhD, but examining me in terms of, is, am I at the level that I should be? Um, I think it, it was good to have the support of the foundation in the, in the background and them saying that this is a credible piece of research and that we support it. So that's been really helpful to me. 
when I've completed my PhD, I would like to carry on researching. And the area that um, I'm researching into now, looking at um, families' needs um, at the end of life in neonatal care, there's a lot of gaps in the research around that area. So I am looking to continuing exploring some of these areas when I finish my PhD. For nursing professionals that are looking for financial support and, and other support for research studies that they're undertaking, I would recommend uh, nurses to, to look at the Florence Nightingale Foundation and, and NHS professionals who actually, they provided the funding for my scholarship um, because it's just been very few, fruitful for me and I think, you know, the more nurses are aware of that then they can see that this funding is available. I would recommend the scholarship programme to other people because the application process is not terribly difficult, so it's not off-putting. You know, anyone is a, would be able to put an application together. Um, but also, the end result, have, being awarded the scholarship, is of such um, huge benefit in lots of different ways. Ways that I didn't envisage in the beginning, um, in terms of you know future prospects. Um, and, and being able to develop further, so I would really recommend it to other nurses.